women are not prepared for a video interview. They don't take it seriously, which is why they don't get offered the job. Until you take the steps to thoroughly prepare for an interview, you will get passed on every job you conduct an interview for. Hi, I'm Belinda Harris, and I am an HR professional with over 15 years experience in the human resource field. Every day, I post videos to help job seekers like you make the best choices for themselves. I have a master's degree in human resource development and certifications by the Human Resource Certification Institute and Society of Human Resource Management. I am a speaker, a trainer, and business owner, and I am here to help you secure your next employment opportunity. Two months ago, I met a woman who came to me for interviewing coaching. She said, I'm getting interviews for my resume, but after the interview, I'm not getting the job offers, and I don't know why. I asked her, where does she conduct her interviews? She said, right here, where I am right now. Well, behind her was a huge, beautiful window that led into her backyard. The problem was the sun was right behind her, and sometimes it became a distraction for me, and I'm sure anyone who she was interviewing with before. I told her to tilt her computer slightly where the camera could still get the natural light, but the person on the other end would not be blinded by the sunlight. I asked her, what did she wear to the interview? And she said, a very nice blouse that her hair and makeup are always done. I asked her, did she wear a skirt or dress pants? She said, my pajama pants, because no one could see the bottom. I asked her a few more questions before I conducted the practice interview with her and was able to determine pretty quickly while no one was offering her the positions she was interviewing for. Now, you may be thinking that you are prepared for the interview. Then why aren't you getting the job offer? If you want to conquer the video interview, I'm going to tell you some steps that you need to do before the video interview. Rehearse. Rehearse thoroughly. Practice with family. Practice with friends to see how you look on the webcam. You're going to hear me talk about that over and over again. Rehearse. Rehearse. Dress up. Take a shower so you're feeling your best. Put on your best suit just like you would for a live interview. Make the interview practice realistic. Avoid just sitting on the couch in a t-shirt during your mock interviews. Wear the clothes you would actually wear. You want to attempt to recreate a similar environment and mood. You want to make the experience as realistic as possible. Dressing up for the mock interview will also let you know how your clothes fit. Did you gain COVID weight and now the suit is too tight? Practicing in the actual clothes you plan to wear to the interview will help you be more comfortable the day of the interview. You want to create a backdrop. Bookcases and plans create an attractive and flattering professional setting. You want to banish any clutter and avoid sitting by a scuffed up wall. Backgrounds are important. You want the interviewer looking at you, not all the stuff in your background. Keep it simple. Professional, less is more. If you don't have a bookcase of plants, then a clean back wall will suffice. When you rehearse with your new background, take a minute to look into the camera to see what the interviewer will see. Arrange your lighting. I mean, natural lighting is ideal. If your room has little sunlight or it's dark in your time zone, you know, try adding a lamp. Try to rehearse the same time as your interview would be. For example, if your interview is at 10 a.m., then rehearse at 10 a.m. the day before or two days before. That way you can see how the light will be at that time. And you can adjust your camera, add more light, close the blinds, etc. 
before the interview starts. That way you won't have to jump up and down and close blinds and add lights during the interview. You want to watch your body language. Sit up straight. Try to angle your body slightly, you know, kind of look over your shoulder a little if you can. It looks less stiff than facing directly toward the camera during the entire interview. You want to try to act natural yet professional. I interviewed someone via video and she kept fidgeting. Again, pay attention when you're rehearsing how you are sitting and what you're doing with your hands. The way you sit and move counts a lot in a job interview. Know your story. One of the first interview questions you are guaranteed to face is something along the lines of, tell me a little bit about yourself. HR professionals want to know your basic story. There's no excuse not to be prepared for this question. Think of a way to present yourself in an interesting and positive light. Don't get too personal talking about your family. Talk about hobbies you may have or interests, such as reading, listening to music, watching or playing sports, in addition to projects that you may have worked on at your previous jobs. Get a list of likely interview questions. Consider the position you're interviewing for, and then consider the questions you're likely to be asked. You can Google interview questions for the type of job you're interviewing for. After you get the questions, then you want to work on your answers. Go through the list and imagine how you will answer each one. Anticipate logical follow-up questions and have suitable answers prepared for them. You should be rehearsing a minimum of 20 questions. One of my favorite questions is, why should I hire you? If you can't answer that, if you can't say why you should be offered the job, you won't be offered the job. Visualize success. Imagine yourself in the interview, presenting yourself perfectly. See yourself answering the questions calmly. It's challenging to be successful if you can't see it in your mind first. Now, some other things that you need to do in the interview is prepare for glitches. That's right. They're bound to happen. Ask the interviewer right when the interview starts what to do if you lose connection. It will reinforce the message that you're proactive. Make eye contact. Look into the webcam to give the impression of making eye contact. One of the most common mistakes with video interviews is looking at the image of the other person on the screen. That comes across like you're staring at the floor or out of space. Practice this. When you're talking, look at the webcam. When they're talking, look at the screen. Again, when you're talking, webcam. When they're talking, look at the screen. Monitor your facial expressions. You want to look animated even while you're listening to someone else. Make sure you're not spending the entire time with a frown on your face or a bored look on your face. You want to try to look like you're paying attention and actually, actually enjoying the interview. Work on your closing. It's easy to get so excited that you lose track of the ordinary things that you would do at a traditional interview. Remember to thank the interviewer and ask the next stages in the process. It is easy to conquer the video interview if you know what to do. If this video brought you any value and you're wondering what to do next, first subscribe to our channel. We post videos daily on topics such as this. Second, sign up for our newsletters for tips, templates, resources, and news as it relates to employment, productivity, confidence building, and time management. You can follow us on all the social media channels, Instagram, Facebook, Discord, TikTok, LinkedIn. We're on all the channels. But to get special resources, then you want to 
follow, subscribe to our newsletter. This is Belinda, and I'll see you at the next video. Hey, before you leave, I need you to subscribe. We need more rocket stars to land their dream job. Subscribe.